On Saturday, March 30th, Sensory Safe Easter Egg Hunting is returning to Pikeville. Up at Bob Amos Park, kids and adults can enjoy a safe morning of Easter egg hunting from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The city of Pikeville has prioritized the well-being of anyone who wishes to participate. Um, basically, we use the Bob Amos Practice football field, which is a nice enclosed fenced-in area, so mom and dad don't have to worry if they've got a runner. You know, it's enclosed. Um, it's not near a major street, um, not a whole lot of traffic up there, but it's a nice flat that level lounge, level space where mom and dad can see the kids and see the kids have fun, especially for some kids that don't always get the opportunity to do things like Easter egg hunts. Um, again, all nice and level, flat. Um, so if there's some mobility issues um, with one of the kids, then they're perfectly all right to be able to go out there. Um, and it's not just for kids either. Um, there are some older folks that may have never had this opportunity because of a special need in their life, and that's what this is for as well. Appalachian Community Care offers outpatient medication-assisted treatment for addiction, counseling, and behavioral play therapy for children, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard. Regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, Pikeville, Whitesburg, 606-432-5660. Find them on Facebook. Parents will also have the opportunity to snap a photo of their child with the Easter Bunny. No registration is required to check out this free event. Um, well, this year, of course, we're still going to have the sassiest bunny in town, except the sassiest bunny in town is a little more low key during this event. Um, the bunny will be there if you'd like to get a picture with the bunny, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. We'll also have a backdrop that has the bunny on it, so maybe if your little one doesn't want to approach the bunny, but you want that picture, you can get that photo off where the bunny's still in there for them. We wanted to make sure that everybody gets to come in. It's, like you said, it's completely inclusive, and we want everybody to come and have fun. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.